Okay guys, well this is my latest project. Um, I'm making a uh, scooter that I can use to hook up to the trailer and pull the trailer around uh, without a whole lot of effort. Um, this is what I am at right now. Um, I just welded a bolt up onto these braces so I can uh, change the balls if I need to with another threaded ball. But the inch and seven eighths is what's on there now. It's pretty much what we use all the time. Um, left most of the original factory stuff down here. Um, these braces, obviously, they I, I tacked them uh, right down into here. Uh, but this right here, I retacked it because they just had a light tack weld, so I put it a little bit stronger, um, and then tack welded it to here. And then I also added a couple of braces back here. I know this isn't very strong steel. Uh, most of the weight should be supported on those that go down to the frame itself. Um, this is just to kind of help stabilize it a little bit more. Um, and it looks cool, and I needed to practice welding anyway. So <clears throat> that's what I have so far. And then I did change the gear on this. Got a little bit bigger gear on there. I think that one there is a uh, 69 tooth, uh, number 35 chain, standard tires that come with the scooter. Uh, right here where you see these cuts, this is where I cut the original scooter. Um, actually, I cut it like here, uh, straight across, and then the pieces that I have for here, that's where these pieces are right here. There's the little pieces that I just kind of trim this off smooth. I'll fill this in later on. <clears throat> but uh, the motor's gonna mount here and here. That's where the motor mounts in, uh, and it uses the, it lines the right up. This is a freewheel motor, so I can just pull it around uh, without uh, activating the motor. Um, and I'm not sure about the handlebars. I am going to switch them around, so that way instead of gas being on this side, it's going to be on this side because you'll be standing in front of it kind of like this. So you're, just for familiarity, I'll have, the, I'll have the throttle on this side. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn the whole handlebars around or if I'm going to leave it like it is. The reason is is... For storage if I loosen up this here then that whole handlebar will fold down flat down up against that frame so I, it makes it easier to store if I flip the flip it around and the handlebar wants to flip forward so not sure what I'm gonna do there yet what I started with is one just like this just that one's blue this is a black one that we have it's an e300 razor um, the kids kind of outgrew them so um, but you can see right here this is where the motor mounts are where I showed you on there up here this plate there's a plate underneath this plastic box here, and then there's this plate right here. Those are the two plates I stuck together and welded across top and bottom, um, and then put a couple supports in there. So that should be fine. Um, what I'm going to do is, it is still, it's a 24 volt motor. I'm going to use all of these electronics here, or most of these electronics anyway. Um, I got a box that I'm building to just to waterproof the electronics, but the batteries will sit separately up on top of that center part there in between the wheels. And then I'll have 24 volts and I'll be able to run it and use it. And I am going to use this brake lever, uh, brake cable out for this one um, to hook up the brakes. That way, if the trailer is on, a, on an incline or decline, I can actually use the brake to stop and hold the trailer in place. So that's my project.